hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful danshiki box um blouse so if you're interested in learning how to go about this please keep on watching and if you're still yet to subscribe hit on the subscribe button and let's get started so guys this is the fabric i'm going to be using to make this kimono and you just need about two yards of fabric okay and what i have here is two yards so i'm going to first of all fold it into two equal halves so like this just fold it into two equal halves and i'm going to just go ahead and iron everything out in place to make sure that it's arranged properly so now this is the fold we did which is the fold into two now i'm going to fold it again this time it's now into four so we have one two three and four so this way we are going to be cutting the front and the back of this kaftan together i also go ahead and iron everything out so that it's straight now we're going to take the neck measurements from the center here so how we're going to go about this is very simple i'm going to be cutting out the back neckline first remember the front and the back um, is going to be cut out together but we'll be using the back neckline to cut out everything for now so i came down by one and a half inches and i'm coming in by three inches to create this neckline so the neck width is three inches and the neck depth is one and a half inches so i used it to create my neckline so once you're done creating your neckline from the center you're going to go in by half of your shoulder measurements so for me half of my shoulder measurement is seven and i just marked it here now for this kaftan i want to cut the sleeve along with the shoulders okay now from this shoulder that i just marked here i'm coming out by 13 inches this is going to be serving as a sleeve but we are cutting it together now from this sleeve area i'm just going to take it all the way down so whatever measurement i had after I did my sleeve i'm just going to take it all the way to the end of my fabric it's not going to affect the hip measurements because by the time you measure where your hip is plus the extra 13 inches as stitching allowance for the sleeve it's more than enough it's not going to be too small for you now the next thing i want to do is from the shoulder here i'm going to come down by how long i want this kimono to be and you know that this is a short one i'm marking it right now at 27 inches for the length so that by the time i'm done sewing everything it will round up to be about 25 inches so now i'm connecting straight from the sleeve to meet this new line i just created by the time you are done you notice that it actually looks like a box now you're going to go ahead and cut out the neckline like i'm doing here and then for the end of the dress i'll cut it out as well and then for the side i decided to add about one inch extra for stitching allowance because i didn't add this earlier we need to add the stitching allowance so that we'll be able to fold up the sleeve area now from the top of my shoulder i'm coming down by how wide i want this armhole of the sleeve to be now because this is a free booboo i came down by about 11 inches okay so now i'm just going to cut on this line that i had earlier and then curve it out like this okay so this is what i gave it stitching allowance so that i'll be able to stitch the armhole area down so now i'm going to go ahead and open this up we have cut out the front and the back together and it's having the same neckline right now so we need to make some adjustments on the on one part of the neckline so that we use that as the front neckline both of them cannot have the same neckline else it's not even going to pass through your head so i'm just arranging the shoulder areas the shoulder is easy to spot here because of the lines that we have from the ironing that we have done before so i'm just going to go ahead and just iron the neckline areas to just sit perfectly in place so that i know the center so i'll pick one of the necklines any part of it is is the same you can use any part and i'm going to come down by an extra one inch to make the front neckline deeper so i connected it into the round neckline and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out like this so now you can easily differentiate between the front and the back another thing i'm going to do is to have another cut on the front neckline you will notice that there was a straight cut after the round neckline there was another straight cut that came down so from the neckline i have here i came down by four inches and i'm just going to cut straight through the middle until i get to that four inches point so once you're through with this you've cut out the front neckline and the back neckline 
notice that we actually didn't have to cut through the shoulders now i have this piece here that i want to use for my facing i have folded it into two as well and the folded edge i'm just going to put the center of this fabric here make sure it's very long make sure it's long enough to get the opening that we had in front as well because the facing we're going to be cutting out for this particular piece is going to be long in front so i just pinned this fabric on my um, actual fabric underneath and i'm just going to trace out the neckline both for the front and the back and i'm also going to go ahead and cut through the front part of the facing that four inches that we came down by on the actual fabric i also repeat it on the facing as well now we can remove our pin and remove the actual fabric now i'm going to just cut through my facing you can see what it looks like you can see the opening here so i'm just going to make curves on this to make it better so on the back i'll just come out by about one and a half inch and curve it like this now for the front we cannot do this because of the long um line that we came down by so you can see how i had to curve it to be longer in front so yours should also look the same way so now go ahead and turn the facing all the way around once make sure you only stitch it once so i'm chill with this and this is what it looks like you can see the neckline opening here now i'm going to go ahead and bring the actual fabric and turn the right side to face me make sure you turn the right side to face you now once you're chill with this you're going to place your facing we are actually using this method because we don't have an opening on our shoulder we don't have any cut on the shoulder so you place your facing on it right sides facing each other like i'm doing here and if you've done it properly it's going to be exactly the same thing like what i have here so i just go ahead and pin it all the way around just to secure it in place and i'm going to go ahead and make a stitch all the way around so guys i'm done making the stitch and i've made notches all the way around the neckline so that it will be easy for me to turn around so i'm going to turn the facing towards the back like i'm doing here so just turn everything over to the back let me actually turn this fabric to the other side so that we can easily turn it and then iron it in place Anybody where I want for you Make them come by ready now I'll be right beside you So guys, I'm done ironing the facing to the wrong side and just temporarily for now I am just using hemming gum. If you don't have this, it's totally fine. But I'm just ironing hemming gum so that it will be easy while I'm sewing so that the um, facing is not coming over to the right side. I will go ahead and hem this when I'm done with everything with my needle and thread so the neckline is all done i actually wished i used a different kind of fabric for this tutorial because this is very colorful and i can't even i can't really see the neckline as i'm actually making this voiceover but anyways i'm just going ahead to iron this out as you can see just iron everything in place arrange everything front and back make sure it's straight you don't want one side to be longer than the other so this is what i have the neckline is actually looking very nice now the next thing i want to go ahead and do is work on the armhole area we're just going to fold it in once like this and fold it again a second time just to finish up this edge here and of course i'll do the same thing for the other side as well so guys i'm done with the sleeve as you can see i hope you guys can see it Whew, this color is so much honestly now let me turn everything over to the wrong side because i want to go ahead and stitch down the sides now and this is basically almost like the last part of it can you imagine this is a very simple and short tutorial now i'm just going to go ahead and pin down the sides this is optional it's not compulsory to pin it down but i'll just pin it down for the purpose of the tutorial and i'm just going to stitch down this area here with about half of an inch and do the same thing for this other side as well so guys i am done stitching it down now on the sides and i've ironed it out and i've also gone ahead to finish up the ends this is what our neckline looks like and basically that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about it in the comment section i'll see you in my next one